right now we're gonna download the app that we need for our robot which is called iRobot Home. So let's just go into your tablet or iPhone or any phone for that matter, go into the App Store and from there you guys are gonna search for iRobot. Just type in iRobot for now. You're gonna see iRobot Home as the first one that comes up and this is it. So it's the first one that you guys see right here if I tap on it. It's just gonna tell me a little bit more information about it. I can scroll right through. But anyways, let's just tap on get and it's just gonna start downloading. Meanwhile, I do wanna scroll down just to show you guys exactly a little bit more about this application. So if you go down, 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 you guys can see more information until you guys hit the size. So this is only about 300 megabytes. So it isn't that big and will not take too much space on your device, whether you guys have a tablet or a phone. And if you keep scrolling down, you're gonna see a little bit about more by iRobot Corporation. So that's just other apps available at the moment. I'm just gonna scroll up right now. Now, how long will this app take to download? Well, again, it's 300 megabytes, so it does depend on your internet speed. If you guys have really slow internet speed, sure, this could take an hour. <laughs> but for most of you, it's just gonna take a couple of minutes or a couple of seconds to download this app. Once it finally downloads, we can just click on open and we can proceed on with the whole setup. So finally, when it's done downloading, we're just gonna press on open. We're gonna open up the app. We're gonna let and allow notifications for now. We can choose the country. Now remember, it doesn't have to be Canada. It can be US or any other country from the list down here. Just tap on it. Once you select your country, press continue down here below. We're gonna have to set this, so bottom, middle, and again, we have to sign up if you guys don't already have an account. But yes, you do need an account. I highly suggest making up right now. So it's the second option. We're gonna assume that you're brand new into iRobot. So just press on sign up now. It's gonna take us to my account. And this is where we have to sign in with everything. So at this point, we have to put in our first name, last name, email, and password. Now, this is not your password for your email. This is a password you're creating for your account for iRobot. So make sure it's a different password than what you use for your email. Once you're done with that, just click on OK. And here we go. So right now it's gonna search for robots. Now I have two robots, so I could go for either one, but at this point it's the top one. So we are looking for the top one. Let's just tap on the top one. And again, we're gonna tap on the top one. That's the Roomba that we have at the moment. Click on OK. We can go ahead and get started down here below. Just press get started. Yes, we do need allow uh, location services, so allow that. So at this point, what you should press is the below thing. So go to phone settings, just press that. It will take you down here and just make sure everything's green. So you guys can see local network, Bluetooth, location, all this is good. I will also go into notifications and just make sure everything's turned on at the moment. You will want this, you can turn them off later on. We're gonna go back and just make sure everything's good. We can just get out of our settings and just go back into your app. From there, we can just continue on. And yes, your charger should be kinda close to your router, at least for now. Later on, you could move it, sure, why not? But for now, just make sure it's close enough so you guys get good Wi-Fi signal. You just press continue and we can name our robot anything it doesn't have to be the standard Roomba it can be any name that you guys like what I'm gonna do is just leave it as Roomba and done at this point I highly suggest putting to always allow so make sure to select always allow now this is the network that I want so yes continue putting the password for your Wi-Fi network, click on done, and then you guys should see this screen. At this point, this is the 600 series. So for example, this Roomba is the 671. So that means it's a 600 series. So we have to follow the second instructions. So at this point, we have to do exactly what this tells us. We're gonna have to press spot and home on our robot for two seconds. So I'm gonna show you that right now. Okay, so as you guys saw, we did have to hear that sound. I'm gonna open up the app again. We shouldn't have really closed it. But anyways, we heard that sound. Right now it's trying to sync, so we're gonna press on. I press those buttons, continue on. It's gonna search for the robot. 
So have your device close to your robot, at least close-ish. <laughs> have your tablet or phone pretty close to the robot, and then from here, just press join. So right now, it detected it. Your if So if you guys heard that in the background, that was just your Roomba it's supposed to talk to you. And right now, just don't do anything. Don't disconnect your Roomba. Just let it be, let it do its thing. It's just taking care of everything. It's supposed to connect to Wi-Fi right now. And yes, it could take a couple minutes. So just don't let your iPhone or tablet die out. Once you're doing this, make sure the app is still open. Plus the most important part about this it's not to interrupt your Roomba. So don't disconnect it, don't move it, don't do anything to your Wi-Fi network. <laughs> right now, it's not the time to mess around with any of those things, including your router or your modem. So just two minutes after or so, your Roomba, maximum two minutes after. After that, it might be that you're too far away from your router or just try again, make sure you do have 2.4, all right? not just the five because five does not work uh with Roombas. but anyways that's your signal from your router and at this point you should see this video on your iphone or tablet and your Roomba again should have talked to you should have told you that it's ready so you can go on to next if you have any updates right now Roomba will do them and i suggest updating right now so we're going to start update at this point it should tell you updating progress we can go ahead and continue on Continue on, next, next, next again. It's just gonna show you various things about Roomba. So it's really good to just see over these things. It's pretty nice to get to know your Roomba itself. Um, one more thing, your charger. That should be placed somewhere that you don't have too much stuff around it. So just don't have it squished up in the corner where you guys have a bunch of other stuff around it. Just make sure there's some space for your Roomba robot to get back in there. So right now what we're gonna do is just press next, press next again. Now there's 12 times that we have to press next basically, but this would give us a quick guide into everything that we need to know about Roomba. And by the way, I already showed you guys these things anyways. So right now, yeah, all we have to do is your update is finishing and they'll let us know. So right now, just leave your phone, do not turn it off. Very important not to turn it off. Sometimes it goes on the lock screen. That could actually get in the way, depending what phone you guys have or tablet. So don't let it lock up, especially when you're trying to hook it up to your Wi-Fi network. There could be some errors that happen. We might not, you may not just connect. You might have to try it again. Once you try it again, just don't let it lock and that should help you out as well. For now, we're just gonna let it do its thing. We're gonna have to wait those four minutes. All right, so at this point, finally done. Just tap on next. It should say update completed. Again, just tap on next. And done. Right now, you guys are ready to go. Use your Roomba. At this point, we can go ahead and press vacuum everywhere. You guys can tap on new job. And down here below, you guys can schedule anything out, plus see history, messages, and so on. So it depends what you guys would like to do. I would suggest just press vacuum anywhere, and that way get started right away using your Roomba. So again, we're just gonna tap on vacuum everywhere, and just let it do its thing, let it scan everything, just get any wires or anything like that off the floor so it doesn't get stuck with those or anything happens. But congrats, guys. Right now, your Roomba is just ready to work as soon as you guys press vacuum everywhere right here on your tablet or phone. Anyways, that would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.